the basics of it are you need to understand the, the, the macro parts of the world that you're building. Is it like Earth in, in any way? Um, is it like Earth in a lot of ways? Are there continents? What's the weather like? What's the environment like? How does that dictate how people are built, how they think, their physicality and, and their culture? Um, because in a lot of cases, these things are, are not driven by uh, environment, but certainly influenced by. So it's a good idea to understand, for example, that if, uh, if you've got a world with, uh, I don't know, frequent flooding, or you know, if you've got a culture that develops in a place where there is frequent flooding, then they're going to adapt to that. They're going to think of floods as normal. Um, they won't be catastrophic disasters. In fact, they might do something like build two or three story houses and just move up to the second story while the flooding is happening. Um, so, you know, it's a good idea to understand how this is going to dictate what your people's lives are like. And then you've got to do the micro world building. And the micro world building is where you, you take our understanding of how people work in this world and apply that to the people of your, your fantasy world. Um, and you kind of have to do that because uh, people aren't magic or a mystery. People operate according to, you know, not, not you know, rules or laws, but there are some, there's some patterns. People in science fiction tend to not think of the, the soft sciences, uh, like psychology, sociology, whatever. Um, people in science fiction tend not to think of those as, uh, you know, real sciences. <laughs> but having come out of that field myself, um, I know that that is, uh, you know, that that assumption is not the case. So it's a good idea to understand, like, how do people get to be the way that they are? How do, they, how do people typically react to trauma? How do people um, typically react when they are under threat? How do old organizations uh, change with time, or do they? Um, so, you know, when you understand how our own society works, it allows you to make a fake society uh, in your created world more plausible to readers who are familiar with our world. Hachette.